Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another look at the Fall Creators Update privacy settings and of course we are taking a look at one of the most controversial one and of course this is something that it's your own decision. I'll give my opinion, you can forge your own opinion but I'll be pretty honest in the way that I'm going to actually talk about it. So you go into all settings, you go into privacy and then go down on the left side to feedback and diagnostics. This is probably one of the most controversial uh, settings for privacy. Now you've got basic and you've got full which is different from what was before as there was um, more settings before and they kind of simplified it. So you might say, okay, what, first of all, what does this do? So feedback and diagnostics is kind of a telemetry. It's information that's gathered from your operating system on how it performs in the crashes and all the information it can gather to help Microsoft make Windows better. When you're an insider, for example, our feedback and diagnostics is always checked because it gives a lot of data on what's happening and the most frequent crashes and problems in Windows. In regular Windows, well, it's pretty much the same thing, but the thing is, there's a huge difference between the amount of data that's sent from basic to full. Full diagnostics is almost every app, almost every program you use, you're browsing everything, and every Microsoft service you use, will be uh, gathered in information and sent to Microsoft regularly in order for them to see how it performs, how well it is. Uh, part of it is a little bit of what you do regularly so that it can actually pinpoint your or most people's regular usage pattern because it does help forge windows in a certain way. But there's a lot of things and yes, the full telemetry, the full feedback and diagnostics could, and I say could because it's not something that's all the time, could send sensitive information sometimes. And what I mean by that is because, for example, say you have a crash. One of the things that full will do is take a, a, a RAM memory dump. So all of the RAM, all the memory, the, the random access memory that you have will be put in a file. And RAM can contain, in certain circumstances, personal data. Of course, you see here, this is my setting, full. I believe and am pretty sure that it's safe to have the full data. Microsoft uses this, first of all, has information to make things better. Second, it is anonymized. And if you don't believe this, you maybe should not have a computer and you should not annoy me on this channel. Now, anonymized means that when it's out there, you know, I just told you, some sensitive data can show up. But if some sensitive data shows up from me, they don't know it's about me. They don't know it's from me. They don't know who I am anyways. And it's really anonymized. They can't really, you know, take that and say, oh, that person sent that sensitive data. It doesn't work like that. And a lot of people, unfortunately, think that these companies like Microsoft want that. Who cares? What would they do with that? You know, pretty much everybody that will tell you, oh, you know, this is, uh, you know, rans th th this thing is really like, you know, uh, taking all your personal information and selling it or whatever. There's absolutely nobody that can prove it. Nobody ever did prove it. And it doesn't work like that. It's really to help out. But of course, I told you, sun sensitive data can be sent out. So you might actually want to send something less. If you want to do that, then there's a section here and it's basic. Basic is the most basic of data that they can be receiving 
to still keep your Windows operating system from working right and being cool and you know having no problems but it won't take you know a snapshot of your RAM it won't send any information that could be sensitive it really sends the minimum amount of telemetry to help them cope and try to make Windows better so you know what it's up to you on my I told you that I don't care about full and I don't believe that you know it's dangerous and I don't believe Microsoft does anything bad with it but it's up to you and you have your own opinion on that and that's quite all right if you feel I want to have just basic just put the basic information and that's it then you have let Microsoft provide more tailored experiences with relevant relevant tips and recommendations that's because sometimes a little notification a little something can pop up because of the way you use Windows and they might just want to help so you can say yeah why not once again you can say off and please don't tell me that these on off switches do nothing because you're an idiot if you think that feedback frequency this is automatic always once a day once a week so this is the frequency of sending out that batch of data to Microsoft to let them know that something is wrong or to just let them know how things are going so you can choose automatically which automatically is pretty much pretty you know instant every time there's something that needs to be sent out it's sent out you can of course choose once a day or once a week you can choose never also there's you know in the feedback frequency by the way um, all sorts of little you know pop-ups you might have seen some of them uh, like uh, hey you're um, you've been using Microsoft Edge what do you think of it so this is part of the feedback if you say never for example this means that these little pop-ups of you know what do you think of this or that will never pop up and there's a lot of information you can click on to see uh, and learn more about the feedback diagnostics what they are receiving uh, they're, they're you know they're pretty fair what they're doing and what they're receiving and uh, for those that still think Microsoft gives everything to governments yeah right that's why Microsoft is in court against the US government because they want to just stop having to send information because governments are asking information and they have to give it not Microsoft they don't want to give any information and they are in court against the US government by the way so anyways make up your own judgment your own mind on this uh, choose your setting and uh, you know it uh, whatever you choose will be quite all right if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching